Hey folks. So for this week's mini tutorial, we just wanted to run through a stretch that we see a lot of people struggling with here at the gym. And that is the half kneeling banded hip flexor stretch. Now, the main problem with, uh, that people seem to struggle with is in the setup and, and not getting everything set in the right position so that they get the stretch in the right area. Often we'll see because they're, they're working off the little video, um, that we have and they, they get themselves set up for that hip flexor stretch and it winds up being something, looking something like this. Now there's no um, intentionality to that, okay? We're not sort of focused on anything, often because we're not aware what we should be focusing on and what we should be engaging in the cues. And we're just sort of going through the motion and this is really not accomplishing anything, okay? So first off, to set up for the, the, this particular stretch, set the band at about the height of your, your waist or hip when you're in the half kneeling position, so when you're on your knees. Secondly, set up a, a pad or something facing the anchor point of the band because you're going to have the stretch pulling you, uh, or sorry, you're going to have the band pulling you towards its anchor point. The hip that you want to stretch, put that leg through the band and take the half kneeling position. Now, already it's going to be trying to pull you forward, so you want to engage and sort of resist that pulling your hip, uh, your, uh, pulling the hip socket sort of back in, tightening up around the hip socket. Now, how you do that and that cue is not great. And a lot of people um, might not know how to pull their, their, um, their, <laughs> their hip to, to set their hip, all right? So instead of doing that, I'm gonna offer you some some cues that you can focus on that will accomplish the same thing. So first off, once you've got the band around, what you wanna do is go into a, a posterior pelvic tilt, which means if you imagine that you have a tail, you wanna tuck that tail underneath you, okay? Okay, so I'm not moving forward or back yet. I'm just tucking my tail, okay, tucking my posterior. Now, here's the thing, as soon as I do that, I feel, I start to feel a stretch on the front of my hip here, okay? Simply by tucking that pelvis. Now next what I want to do, I want to, uh, I, I would love to say engage the trunk, but again, for a lot of people, they're not necessarily going to, um, to know how to do that sort of 360 engagement. So I'm happy for this purpose if you just sort of gently brace your abs, okay? So you've got that pelvic tilt, gently brace the abs, Okay, so now we're in a, a, a f almost a neutral spine, like a flat spine. So again, I'm feeling that stretch already just from here. Now what I wanna do once I've done that tilt, engage my abs, is I wanna gently rock forward and back, but I'm moving my hips forward and back, okay? I'm not staying stationary. Do you see the difference between that and engaged, engaged, and gently rocking. And believe me when I say, I'm getting a big stretch here through my hip flexors. And then relax. So it does require a lot of intentionality, a lot of focus. And that's why we only have the reps at about five, uh, five per side, because as it goes beyond that and people start to lose that focus, then you start getting into that sloppy and, and unproductive sort of technique. Now, if this is in your program and you are on the customized programs, then um, it's in there because it's not contraindicated at all and or it may actually be recommended. But what we don't want you to do is just go, oh yeah, I think my hip flexors are tight and you throw this stretch in and it's not in your program. You just wanna do it because um, you believe that your hip flexors are tight. If it's in your program, you can do it. If, you're, if it's in your program and it's not, a, it's not a customized one and it just appears there, it's because for a lot of people, this is a beneficial stretch, but that doesn't mean for every person this is a beneficial stretch. So there, there is the possibility that it's not gonna work for you. Um, so be ready to maybe just go to the more basic hip. You can still stretch your hip flexor without the assistance of the band by 
that pelvic tilt, abs tight, and gently rocking. It's just not as intense of a stretch. Um, and the other thing too is if you're not sure, check with your, your physio uh, first to make sure that this is a good stretch for you. So if you've got hip problems, don't just start throwing, you know, spaghetti against the wall and picking various, you know, hip stretches that you see because the hip is a pretty complex joint and what's tight or what needs to be stretched might be different from what needs to be stabilized or set, okay? So again, all I'm saying is make sure that um, if it's not in your program or recommended by your coach or physio, that you check with one of them before you start tossing in mobility drills that you, that you think you might need, okay? That's my little caveat for you all. Uh, hopefully that helps explain how to do it if it is in your program or it has been recommended. You can always refer back to this if you need it. Let us know in the comments if there's anything else that you want us to cover um, with this or in general. Uh, otherwise, train smart, train hard, keep fit, and always have fun.